it's been revealed that shots were fired and chaos spread among the camps in Dunkirk just hours before a dinghy sank, killing six people in the Channel on Friday. The clashes were reportedly between Afghans desperate to cross and Kurdish smuggling gangs in charge of the flotilla. But the tragedy hasn't deterred dozens of other migrants from attempting to make the same crossing, with many lining up in France with bags to travel to the coast. It comes as frustration among ministers is growing over how little the French seem to be helping to stop the dangerous channel crossings. Despite Sunak agreeing to a £480 million deal, it's still French policy not to intervene after a craft is in the water unless it's in distress. But the government insists the French are cooperating. This is why we need to clamp down on the activities of the, the people smugglers and the criminal gangs who are behind this. But the best way to do that is to work constructively with the French authorities. They have uh, stopped more than 40% uh, an increase in, in the boat stop compared to last year. And the best way forward is to be working constructively uh, with them. But it's one of a number of things that we're doing, along with, as I say, using the barges, taking uh, the case to the Supreme Court. This is a Home Office lead, but they're exploring all options on this in order to get those numbers down. And indeed, they are making progress on that. Look, our deterrents clearly aren't working. You can talk about Rwanda, you can talk about barges all you like. People who are desperate for whatever reason to come over to the UK will stu still do that. Mm. They're either too desperate to care about the conditions um, that they're coming into, or they don't quite believe what is going to be there when they do arrive, because yeah. it's in the interest of the people smuggling gangs to tell people what a great life they can have in the UK, no matter how much we talk about Rwanda mm. and barges. And people who are desperate, and as much as people are going to say, oh, there might be mm. economic migrants or criminal gangs coming over here that are desperate families or young men who travel solo who want to come to the UK because they are fleeing war. Uh <coughs> I agree with you, of course, but I, I think I've now reached a point where we're having so many people dying, and it's, it's relatively a small number compared to how many people are crossing, of course. Yeah. But the amount of deaths now, I would hope that the the left-leaning lawyers and the groups who are stopping things like Rwanda or stopping things from, from the government from doing what they think is going to work, mm. they have to now have a look at themselves and say, we are costing lives. In order to save... Listen, we can save 100,000 people, but if we lose 10 people, that's still 10 too many for me. Yeah. And there has to be something that has to happen. Like what? Well, I don't, I'm not, I don't have the answer. <laughs> Damn it, I, I thought, I thought answer, we were going to have it right then, JJ. <laughs> but the I thing thought. is, even though it feels like almost an impossibility, we have to really focus on the people smuggling gangs. Yeah. And we know that, obviously, like you said, um, Rwanda isn't a deterrent. Being put on a, a barge isn't a deterrent because for some people that's better than where they are now. And yes, you do have a lot of young men coming on those boats. And yes, a lot of those young men are coming to work and send money back home to their families. But there has to be a way. I mean, it's like the war on drugs. We say stop the drug dealers. It's almost an impossibility. But isn't it something we should attempt to do? Yeah. We mm. shouldn't even have people making these crossings in the first place because any life lost is one too many. And it doesn't matter what side of the political divide you're on, on the left or the right, we can agree that nobody should be dying yeah. in the channel. Absolutely that, nobody. Absolutely that right. is true. But, but I think that, you know, what you say there is spot on in terms of, I think these moments when a tragedy occurs is the time that we have to reframe the whole conversation. Yeah. And the conversation has to be away from, whether it's a government or an opposition, I don't really care, uh, they seem to be making decisions based on these sticking plasters or newspaper headlines, as opposed to everything that we all seem to think is common sense, which is when you see the tented villages in northern France, the fact that we don't have tents over here means that the, that the French approach to either migrants or the gangs is different. And somehow this £480 million which is being spent needs to be spent more effectively and collaboratively mm -hmm. because I think it's in everybody's interest to stop these gangs. If people are um, carrying guns which I, I know that there's a slightly different approach to, to guns and weaponry depending on where you are, but still, if they are carrying guns, if this amount of money is transferring hands and crossing hands between these poor and desperate people mm -hmm. who are trying to get here, it is also really clear that this message, the whole Rwanda thing and the boat thing, it's a, it's a smokescreen. Yeah. They don't hear the stories, and even if they do, it's not a deterrent at all. So that, please that stop is, that is with true. that argument. That is, that is not true. One of, the, one of the problems that they have, that, uh, the idea that people aren't aware of what is going on, they're all fully aware of uh, Rwanda and whatever else, you know. These are not necessarily the I don't poorest. I think they are. These are not necessarily the poorest people. 
people. I mean, just a couple of points on that. What is happening now, it's becoming a new narrative. It's becoming a new narrative that if you want to change your life... So, actually, what's happening is that from the desperate situation of people that had to make a journey, it's now encouraging people who've seen, actually, do you know what, this is actually the easiest way to do it now, which is why you're seeing an increase in people who haven't escaped war zones. They've escaped countries that aren't particularly pleasant, countries you might not like very much, but it's just become a, the best way and the quickest way to get there is to do it this way. And what I find confusing, I mean, the French, as you said, Nicola, they've got a policy that the minute that boat's in the water and it moves half a foot, that's it, we don't intervene. I mean, this is preposterous. Yeah. We haven't just got the British... We've got two of everything here. We've got two governments, the French and the British government. We've got two home secretaries, two leaders, mm -hmm. two navies, two air forces, two intelligence services. Mm -hmm. I mean, that seems to me to be extraordinary. It is extraordinary. But you, you, cannot, it... you cannot find a bloke peddling rides on a beach in yeah. northern France. Yeah. With all of that... Mm. It's in both of their interests, in a way, to allow it to happen, because the French want more migrants to be crossing over and asylum seekers to, to be crossing over to, e yes. to ease theirs. Right. And they take in, you know, five times more than what we're taking uh, in terms of people, you know, coming in illegally. Um, and in the UK government, Rishi Sunak, I mean, he called last week Small Boats Week, for goodness sake. It's his number one PR strategy at the moment. But it's, we... it's not in it. But it's, no, no, it's a but PR not, disaster. It is a disaster. I don't, I don't think but... he really believes it. No, I don't, in we... fact, I no don't even think... But most it. conservatives is another like... scandal, though. In... And another scandal, though, is that the RNLI, who were there quicker than the French, yes. is a charity that is supported by us, the British people. We're, we're, yes, I, I know it's good, but we're already paying very significant money. And then we have this charity that is helping out quicker and better than the state, yeah. either here mm. or is they able to do. And they're not really designed to do that kind of work. It is a nonsense and as to what we've allowed to really go Really quickly, those six people who drowned very, very sadly at the weekend were Afghans. There is a safe route available for Afghan people, but the government is clearly failing yeah. to let that safe route be workable, otherwise exactly. they could have gone that yeah, way. Yeah, it's not straightforward, exactly. indeed. No.